I like to use this to give kids an idea of some strategies that they can use and strategies that they probably already have and don't know that those are could be considered coping skills. So I divide it up like I talked about. So there's calming skills and distraction skills. And then there's movement, processing, and sensory. I don't want to like go through it all, but it just gives you an idea of like what it looks like. And the way that I typically do this is I have kids check off the ones that they want that they already do. So do you take mindful walks? Check. Um, I want them to cross off the things that they have tried and don't like. Now, you're going to have those kids who are like, I'm crossing everything off. And that's why I say you have to have tried it before you can cross it off, my dears. Um, Because I don't want you to like cross it off automatically without having something new to try. And then circle the ones you want to try. Um, and so I just wanted to give you, show you a couple of images of like what it looks like. It's kind of messy, right? Like I actually did this with the, um, the kid who's going on the plane and his mom was like, this is very overwhelming. And I was like, don't worry, I'll fix it for you. I'll make it pretty. But this, it looked sort of like this, where it was like a little bit messy, like circles and writing in. So like, I want it to be very personalized for the child. So if there's like a lake or a pond that they had in their backyard and that's what they like to, they like to use that as a strategy, I add that in, I write that in for them. But what I do then afterwards is then I make a list. So then I write out all the things that are checked. I make this list and I just gave this to this mom and she was like, this is amazing. Um, because it actually is very empowering for them to be like, oh, I do have things I can do. I can play with my, with putty. I can drink cold water. I can take a walk with my mom. I these are strategies I can use when I'm having big feelings, when I'm really overwhelmed, when I'm stressed out, when I'm frustrated, when I'm scared, when I'm anxious, when I'm worried. Um, and with that child, what I actually said to them, because his list is actually quite long. I said, highlight the five, highlight your five go-tos, um, So it's really powerful when kids can see, like, I actually do have strategies that I can use. And there's a a physical list that they can look at and makes it a lot easier for them. And then the second thing that I do is I make a list of things to try, things to add to the toolbox. Because it's always good to have a few extra in there. You want to make sure that you have a lot of different ways to cope, to deal with everything that's going on. Um, so those ones that we've circled, like deep breathing with a stuffed animal, let's try using a Jacob's ladder. Let's make a worry box together. Those sorts of things. I really like doing that. 